Hi, welcome back to the channel. I saw this question and I feel it will help us understand how to treat resistors in series and in parallel better. Let's see how it goes. The question, the question says, we should determine the current flowing in each of the resistor and voltages indicated in the figure below. Now let's first label our figure. Obviously, from this voltage of 31 volts, there will be a current of I, let's call that I1, because we're going to find the current in each of the resistors. Let's call the current in these two ohms, I2. Here, I'll tag this I3. Let's tag this I4. Let's tag this I5. And let's tag this I, I6. Obviously, let's understand the circuit first. In the forms register, I1 will flow through the forms register. At this node here, at this node, the current will definitely split into I2, I3, and I4. Then here again, I'll have my I1 back flowing on this loop. And at this node again, it will now split into I5 and I6. Now remember our, our lesson in I remember a lesson on resistors in parallel and series. When resistors are in series, the same current flows through them, but they have different voltages. Now, if you look at this carefully, let's 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 rename the the, the resistors. Here is resistor R1. Let's call this R2. R3. I'll tag this R4. I also tag this R5, and I'll tag this R6. Obviously, R1 is in series with the whole of R2, which are in parallel to R3, and in parallel to R4. And the whole of this is in series to the combination of R5, which is in parallel with R6. Now, if you understand this very well, now we can find our cumulative resistance first. That in finding our cumulative resistance, let's solve for R2, R3, and R4 first. The cumulative R2, R3, and R4 will come from 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. And they have an LCM of 6. It has an LCM of 6. 2 in 6, that's 3. 3 times 1, that's 3, plus 3 in 6, that's 2, times 1, that will be 2, plus 6 in 6, that's 1, times 1, that will be 1. So that, sorry, this is 1 over, this is 1 over, we're taking the inverse of it. So that's 1 over R2, the cumulative resistance of the parallel circuits, R2, R3, and R4, will come from 5 over 6. So that the R2, R3, R4, I am not multiplying them, I'm just using this to show a cumulative resistance, will be equals to, oh, this is 2 plus 3, that's 5 plus 1, that's 6 over 6. 6 over 6 is the same thing as 1. 1 over 1 is 1. So the cumulative resistance in that case will be equals to 1. Now let's see the other cumulative resistance of R5 in parallel with R6. R5 in parallel with R6 will come from 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Now this is the same thing as now that's this 1 over the cumulative resistance. Let's take it this way. So that this will be the same thing as here is 6. 2 in 6 is 3 times 1, that's 3. Plus 3 in 6 is 2 times 1, that's 2. That's equal to 5 over 6. So if 1 over if 1 over R5 R6 is same thing as 5 over 6, that implies that R5, my R5, R6, the cumulative resistance there will be the same thing as 6 over 5, which is equal to 1.2. We've explained how to treat resistors in parallel in our lesson on resistors in parallel. In case you missed that lesson, please don't hesitate to check the description below. And we have gotten our various resistance. So I can I can now find my RT 
which we said is equals to R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3 in parallel with R6 in series now with the combined R5, oh, this is R4, sorry, in parallel with R4, combine R5 and R6. So that my RT now will now be the same thing as R1 is 4. We got R1, we got R2, R3, and R4 in parallel to be 1. Plus, we also got R5 and R6 in parallel to be 1.2. So that this is the same thing as 4 plus 1 plus 1.2, that's 6.2. Now, if that's 6.2, our voltage, let's see, the, let's see the equation, let's see the circuit diagram again. Okay, the voltage is 31 volts, and to find I1, let's find I1 first. Now, to find I1, we know that from Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, which implies that I will be the same thing as V over R. My V is 31. 31 over 6.2, that's the same thing as 5, 5 ohms, sorry, 5 amps, we're talking of, of current, 5 amps, 5 amps. Now, if my total current is 5 amps, that's my I1 is 5 amps, obviously, my I1 is 5 amps. Intermittently, we need to be going back to the circuit. Now, from my circuit diagram here, you see that R2 is in parallel with R3 and is in parallel with R4. To calculate, we need to now solve for V1, okay, for V2, but let's look for V1 so that we know we're we'll true with the first resistance. Now, V1 on the first resistance, V1 will be the same thing as 5 times 4, which is equal to 20, 20 volts, because we have 4 ohms on that resistor, so that will be 20, 20 volts. Now, for V2, we have a cumulative resistance. This is where it becomes a little bit tricky. For V2, we have a cumulative resistance. For V2, we have a cumulative resistance of 1. We have a cumulative resistance of 1 from what we got here. The cumulative resistance of 1. From what we got here is a cumulative resistance of 1 ohms. 1 ohms. So we can now calculate the V2. From V2, we'll be able to get each individual current. Now V2, the current flowing to that point was 5 amps. That's the total current. We will come from 5 amps times 1 ohm, which is equal to 5 volts. Now if 5 volts is flowing through this resistor that is in parallel, 5 volts is flowing through this combination of resistor then you can now use that five volts which is uh, my v2 now is five volts we can use five volts to now calculate each of the current we have two ohm resistor three ohm resistor and six ohm resistor now across the across the two ohm resistor we have i2 i2 will be the same thing as five over two which is because of 2.5 amps I3 will be the same thing as across the 3 ohm resistor, that will be 5 over 3, which is the same thing as what? 1.67 amps. And I4 across the 6 ohm resistor will be the same thing as 5 over 6, which will be the same thing as 5 over 6. That's, I think that's 0 0.83. So you can confirm that with your calculator. But one unique thing you will find is that 2.5 plus 1.67 plus 0 0.83, the three current will now sum up to your I1. You sum up to, to 5 amps. Now let's treat the last part of the question, which is to solve for I5 and I6. Now we're looking at this combination here. In this combination, you have two ohms resistor, you have three ohm resistor, and to determine the, the voltage. Let's determine the voltage across that combination first. But the resistor, the cumulative resistance across that resist across the combination is 1.1.2. In this 1.2, remember that I1 is going to flow through it. We got our I1 to be 
5 amps so that my cumulative resistance on that part of the circuit will have a cumulative voltage the cumulative resistance we have a cumulative resistance rt on that part of the circuit with 1.2 and we have a current i flowing through it which is still your i1 in the whole circuit to be 5 amps so that the voltage on that on v3 will be the same thing as 5 times 1.2 5 times 1.2 which is equal to 6 volts as equals to 6 volts now the i5 across let me see where i5 lies i5 is across the two ohms resistor you can see i5 here across the two ohm resistor my i5 across the two ohm resistor while i6 is across the three ohm resistor i5 will be the same thing as voltage over over resistance that will be 6 over 3 okay 2 6 over 2 which is equal to 3 amps and i6 across the two ohm across the three ohm resistor will be the same thing as 6 over 3 which is equal to 2 2 amps once again you see that your 2 amps and 3 amps still sums up to the 5 5 amps so we've been able to discover or we've been able so we've been able to identify the voltage across each of the resistors. I hope this question helps us shed more light on how to treat resistors in series and in parallel. In our next lesson, we'll see how to treat capacitors in series and in parallel. In case you are yet to subscribe to our, our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be sure to receive our lessons when we create them. Thank you for staying with us and see you in our next class.